Okay, good evening. It's um, Wednesday around uh, 7.20 and uh, considering we're going to be uh, embarking upon a pretty uh, significant if not severe weather event for many of the areas, especially up in uh, eastern Massachusetts, uh, central Connecticut, uh, Rhode Island, and even down into our area, um, I'm going to cut a video just to go into a little more detail on what to expect. Um, there's a lot of mixed information out there, especially when it comes to looking at the Weather Channel or the National Weather Service. And the fact of the matter is, there's too much on the table right now to ignore it. And to simply say we're going to get one to three inches, which is what the Weather Channel has, I think is naive. Now, could the storm be a bust and that happens? Absolutely. But right now, if you look at the science behind this, look at the computer information, there's way too much going in favor of a significant snowstorm. Um, absolutely for this area in here, and I'm talking uh, 15 to 20, in some places even 30 inches with winds howling up to uh, 50, 50 miles an hour, so all out blizzard conditions. And uh, down here is the battleground. I mean, I still think we're going to get in the 8 to 14 range down here, uh, north of I-80. So let's start off by looking at the, uh, the GFS model. This came out a few hours ago. This shows uh, um, Friday night uh, around 8 o'clock. And you can see we have an extremely strong uh, storm system sitting right off of uh, the Jersey coast. That's a 988 millibar low. Very, very strong for a winter storm. And what happens is it ends up developing down here, coming up, and you'll see it takes a turn out. So if we go to the next clip, you can see the storm then moves, and that's six hours later. So it's a very slow-moving storm. All this blue and, and purple are, are um, six-hour accumulated precip amounts of two inches, which is insane. And uh, the GFS is really starting to come along uh, to the other models now, including the European, which have had this uh, storm now locked in for about five, not five days, but about three days. And, you know, since I started talking about it on Monday. So the GFS, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is Saturday early morning, and I'll have it there, but it'll be ending uh, Saturday probably around lunchtime. It would actually, the lows would just track out like this. So um, right now, uh, the most uh, bullish model is the European Ensemble, which is a modification of the European model. This gives our area just an all-out um, cr crippling blizzard with one to two feet easily of snow. Uh, this is what that looks like. Notice the storm's stronger at 982. Okay, um, it sits there, it stalls, and it moves out very slowly six hours later. Uh, there's more cold air available in this solution. And uh, if you look at how much precipitation it's printing out, uh, it's giving us two and a half to three inches, which would be, in, in snowfall terms, that would be, uh, tw uh, you know, 15 to 20, 25 inches. Now, this is a little overdone, I think. that I don't expect a 25-inch snowstorm for our area. But the point I'm trying to make is there's a lot of different variation of what's going to happen. And if you average everything together, um, you can't ignore the fact that something is going to happen. Um, now, if you look at why there's so many different solutions in terms of, you know, will, will, will we get uh, rain? Will we get 4 inches of snow? Will we get 12 inches or 15 inches of snow? It has to do with something I showed the other night, which is what's really uh, contributing to this storm. And it's really one, two, three, four separate features which is going to bring this together. You have a, uh, a trough over uh, California. And in turn, uh, that creates a trough over the East Coast here. You have two pieces of southern energy, one, two. And then you have northern energy diving down through the northern jet stream. So for this storm to materialize, which it will, all three of these have to come together, and this has to be anchored in the perfect spot. Now, a difference of 30 miles of when these choose to phase is going to determine the low, pre the low center, if it stays here, if it goes out more, or if it goes more inland. Right now, the consensus is it's going to stay right off of uh, you know, Long Island and track up like this. So that's why it's been such a tough forecast. That's why it's hard to say exactly how much snow we're going to get. But I just think it's safe to say we're on the cusp of a major event, uh, like I said. And just to look at where the rain snow line could possibly be, uh, this is the, the GFS model. Uh, this red is the rain snow line at uh, 1 o'clock on Friday. And you can see, you know, mostly expect rain changing to snow on the back end of this storm in central and south Jersey. I think up here, is an, uh, especially in Sussex County, will remain all snow. I think you might see some rain, and not rain, but mixed precipitation in uh, eastern Morris and Essex counties. But I think that will turn back to snow uh, once we get into Friday night. And, uh, and as I said, you know, if New York City gets some good accumulating snow, it's going to be more towards the second half of the event when the storm wraps in some more of this cold air. But uh, to show the severity, because I think this is very important with this area in here, take a look at what the wind gusts are going to be uh, for this storm. Uh, this is um, this is uh, Friday night, and you can see we have winds gusting here uh, any of 35 to 40 miles an hour. 
up in Massachusetts and Connecticut, 45 to 50 miles an hour. And at the height of the storm up here, we have wind gusts. So think of it's going to be snowing two to three inches an hour. Okay, and we're going to have wind gusts of 55 to 60 miles an hour. Now that's an all-out blizzard. And uh, that's where you're going to see the massive snowfall rates pile up in this region. Looks like ground zero will be right in here right now. Uh, 15 to 30 inches, for if you know anybody who lives up there, is not out of the question. But more conservatively, say it's going to be at least, I would say, uh, 14 to 18 inches conservatively. So it could be more than that. And uh, this is the map I put out yesterday. And this is really, I, I'm going to stick with this. I think this is accurate. Um, down here, 2 to 3 inches, 4 to 6 in central. A lot of that's on the back end. Uh, 8 to 14 for most of our northern counties. This pink is 12 to 18. I would probably take this and move it up north a little bit. So most of, uh, most of this is an 8 to 14. And here, 15 to 24 inches for ground zero is not out of the question. I think that's actually really realistic. Um, anybody on Long Island? I'm thinking uh, probably around six inches on Long Island and all up here through Northern Territories. This, the bulk of the storm is not going to be there. So that's uh, going to probably be around um, six inches uh, max, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so uh, real quick before, before I go, uh, you know, National Weather Service is show, has, now has a winter storm watch. Over here you can't see it. That's a blizzard watch they have. And um, this storm is very similar to a storm that happened in 1969, ironically on the same date called the Lindsay Storm, and that low tracked here, it stalled here, and then went out like you see. And the snowfall from that event was uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 inches and locally 30 inches in spots. And this map actually might foreshadow what could happen. So um, I think the other scenario would be something that looks like this. If more warm, warm air works in and the storm materializes further, further north, in that case, you know, it would be a lesser amounts, 5 to 8 in our northern counties, much less down here. But I'm really going to stick with this snowfall map for now. Um, you know, this, the, the timing is going to be starting on Friday afternoon, maybe late morning, and lasting through Saturday morning. Uh, the height of the storm would be Saturday, would be Friday night. Uh, so, you know, I highly advise anybody in these areas, don't even think about traveling. And up here, I mean, get ready for power outages and a, and a lot of, uh, of holdups because it's going to be pretty severe. This could be historic. Um, we'll take a look at it over the next few days and uh, keep checking in. I'll have another post probably tomorrow morning.